guys, this is Chris at Record Talk uh, with another episode of I Buy Old Records. So, vinyl finds, and this time it's I Buy Hit Singles. So, I've bought a number of uh, seven inch records recently. Um, this one I'm going to focus on hit singles. So, those would be songs that you and I know. I have another one probably a couple weeks down the road with uh, some more underground, unknown sort of stuff. Um, going to go roughly chronologically here, so let's get into it. Um, so the first one we have, we'll start off with some Little Richard. And so we're going to... There, I turned off the ring light. Uh, Tutti Frutti and Good Golly Miss Molly. Um, so this is a reissue on Repeat Records if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The reissue from 1973, those songs had originally come out in 1957 and 1958. So grouping together a couple of his hits together on a reissue. Uh, we've got some Chuck Berry. Um, so that's the B-side. No Particular Place to Go from 1964 on Chess Records. I looked it up. I actually thought that song was older than 1964, but apparently that's what it is. Um, uh, song that I know from the REM, um, reissue on Smash Records. We've got some King of the Road, Roger Miller from 1965. Um, we've got the, uh, box tops here with the letter. So some Alex Chilton action for you from 1967 on Mala or Mela Records. I don't know the correct pronunciation. Uh, here's a band that I'd only heard one song of until I got this. So this is Strawberry Alarm Clock with Incense and Pre Peppermints on Uni Records. And now I've heard two Strawberry Alarm Clock songs with the Birdman of Alcatrash uh, from 1967, of course. Um, and then I have this really weird twofer uh, collectible. So this is something that was reissued in the 1980s. So you've got the status quo with pictures of matchstick men on one side, a song originally from 1967. And then what do you have on the flip side? No, it's not another status quo song. It's Kenny Ball and his jazz men, Midnight in Moscow, which came out, I believe, in 1961. Why you would group those two together for a reissue, I have no idea. I mean, I understand the Little Richard one will group together a couple uh, hits by the same artist. This didn't, seems weird to me. Uh, Roulette Records, we've got some Tommy James and the Shondells, Crimson and Clover, of course, uh, Sweet Cherry Wine on the other side. I think this might have actually, yeah, this is from their Golden Goodies hit series by Roulette Records. So this would be a reissue at some point as well. Um, I forgot to look up, so I don't know exactly when. Uh, we got a couple of Aretha Franklins uh, on good old Atlantic Records. So this is from 1969. The A-side was a cover of Eleanor Rigby, of course, by the Beatles. And then in a slightly different Atlantic sleeve, we've got uh, Until You Come Back to Me, from 1973, if you don't think on the other side. The other side of Eleanor Rigby was a song called It Ain't Fair. So got a couple of singles by the Queen of Soul. Also on Atlantic Records, we've got a Sveegee band called ABBA with Dancing Queen. That's me on the other side from 1976. So I can make Richard McCook happy. I can listen to the, the B-side of the ABBAs as well, not just the hits. Um, then next we've got from 1978, Steve Martin and the Toot Uncommons with their comedy song, King Tut. Um, and of course, I I never had this single when I was a kid, but I had, I had the Wild and Crazy Guy album and King Tut was on it, so I liked that. And I remember I had the one Steve Martin record that had comedy on one side and his banjo music on the other. And when I was a kid, I was like, why did they waste half the record? I would have felt the same way about the single because there's a couple of banjo tunes as the B-side. Um, 
And then I don't have this Fleetwood Mac album from the Buckingham Knicks era, but this is the single Tusk. Um, and by Lindsey Buckingham. And then there's a Christine McVie song, Never Make Me Cry, on the other side. Uh, I don't have the... Okay, it is from the Tusk album as well. Um, and then let's get into some early 80s stuff. So we got some Stray Cat Strut from the Stray Cats from 1981. Um, also on EMI, we've got uh, Kim Carnes with Betty Davis Eyes, also from 1981. It actually came in a Casablanca sleeve, but I moved that sleeve to a Donna Summer single, uh, a more appropriate location, because Kim Cards was not on Casablanca. Um, sticking with, uh, now, now we're in 1982, we've got Daryl Hall and John Oates, not Hall and Oates, it's Daryl Hall and John Oates, two different guys, with Man Eater, a song called Delayed Reaction on the flip side. We got another one of these reissues with a couple hit singles, back-to-back -back hits, Warner Brothers. So it's Prince with 1999 on one side and Little Red Corvette on the other. When they were both originally released as singles, they would have something different on the B side. But again, this makes sense along with the Little Richard reissue with the status quo and Kenny Ball uh, reissue making no sense to me. Uh, we got some Thomas Dolby. She blinded me with science. Um, and so Harvest Records. And then another cool picture sleeve. We got some Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. Do you want to touch me? Oh, yeah. Um, from 1982, I believe. I have it in my notes. Yes. That's also from 1982. Um, going into 1983, we got some Billy Idol. Eyes Without a Face with Blue Highway on the flip side. I believe these were off of the Rebel Yell album. I had a cassette at some point in my life, although I no longer have that cassette. Um, and uh, we'll wrap it up. We've got a couple of tunes from 1984. So this is also on EMI America. We've got Dwight Twilley with um, kind of a power pop guy from Tulsa. Um, he had a couple hits. This was his hit called Girls. If you've ever seen the video, the video is sort of like the movie Porky's Light, Porky's Light video. And then while we're talking about um, dated videos, we've got some Van Halen Hot for Teacher, also from 1984, of course, from the 1984 album. Yeah, very, very... Um, a bit on the sexist side, but you gotta know that's David Lee Roth era Van Halen. 